Hi folks, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to upload images to MongoDB using Node.js server. For that, we are going to use a package called Multer. Here you can see guys which we are going to use. Multer is basically used for uploading files. Here you can see guys. Before that, I have completed the basic setup for running a Node.js server. Here you can see guys, uh, I have connected with the MongoDB Atlas. Make sure you have connected with MongoDB Atlas or better you can even use a uh, download a version of the MongoDB, it doesn't matter. And I am uh, throwing a get request for the home page. Let's check our app. Here you can see guys, our server is running successfully. Let's get back to the postman and hit the request. Let's say once again send. Here you can see guys, we are getting the same upload file. It means we don't have any error. Okay guys, uh, let's <coughs> create a file called image.models so basically we are going to upload images in mongodb for that we have to have a what is that a model file let's say in the new terminal control cut first of all we have to install multer let's say npm install multer it will take some time just wait for one minute okay before while it is uh, Installing, let's create a file called image.model.js. Okay, let's get back to the terminal and check. Here you can see guys, we successfully installed the multi package and let's create models. Let's say const. First, we have to import the mongoose. Okay, let's say require from mongoose package. Okay guys, let's create a schema file. Before creating models, we have to specify our schemas. For that, we have to say cons scheme image schema. Let's say require, oh, sorry guys, mongoose dot schema. It does take two data types. One is string, another one is image. For string, we can say name and type is going to be the string. Let's say string. After that, it must be in the required. Let's say required is also true. Okay, guys, let's create the image data type. For the let's say image, it takes kind of like data. Buffer. Buffer is basically like a binary data. Our images are going to be saved in the form of binary data in the MongoDB. For that, we have to say data buffer. After that, it will ask for the content type. What kind of content is this? Let's say string. Okay, with that done, let's export this file. We are creating Mongo, sorry, model. Let's say module dot exports. Let me remove the extra R over there. Let's say image model. Let's say mongoose dot model. Here you can see it will ask you for the string. Let's say image model. I think more fancy. And it will ask you for the schema which we have specified here. Let's say image schema. Let's save this file. Okay, guys, let's import multer first of all. Let's say const multer require multer. Okay, guys, so we have successfully imported the multer file and we have to import our models. Let's say const image model is imported from require dot image dot models okay guys we successfully imported the multer and in multer there is an option called disk storage let me show that here you can see guys the disk storage engine basically disk storage takes two param one is destination and file name destination is where our file is going to be saved and file name is what we are specifying the file name okay let's set up our storage first which is going to be the disk storage or that 
let me get back into the visual studio code and set storage stivo or a g let's say cons storage is going to the multer dot disk storage as usual it is take destination let's say uploads nothing more fancy basically it will create a folder called upload and store the files inside in it after that it will ask you for the file name it does take a request on file after that a callback sorry not db cb okay let's say callback is null no error and after that the file name is going to be the original file name nothing more fancy here here we can say kind of like this like did that now plus basically we are not going to upload uh, so many files for that i am going to say file dot original name okay with that done we have to specify this storage as the multi storage for that we have to say cons upload while uploading photos here you can give the name whatever the variable name but i am giving upload basically you are seeing you may see upload as the common name let's say multer the that we have to say storage and we have to specify our storage as the storage sto here you can see here we are using small s and here we are using capital s because our storage has capital s after that we are going to upload files as one by one for that we have to say single can say test image do remember this name guys because we are going to upload images using this name let's get back to the terminal and check whether it has any error no we don't have any error we now we have to create a post out basically we have to upload our file for that we have to say post it has in the path of upload it has take as usual a request and then a response okay here it will here we will use this upload as a function here you will understand that it does take request and then a response and then error if it has any oh, let's see if it has any error if error just console log it nothing more oh, sorry just console log it otherwise get in the else block and do what i see let's say we have to create new image variable we have to say cons new image and it is going to be the instant of image model which we have imported here we have to say new image model it will ask you for the two param which is name and image name is going to be the string we can say request dot body dot name after that it will ask you for the image which is first of all we have to say data data is request likewise in the body we have to say request dot file dot file name which file is getting uploaded after that we have to specify the content type which is going to the image slash png oh sorry here you can specify png jpg or jpeg it doesn't matter okay guys so we successfully created an instance of the image model now we have to save it the database for that we have to say image sorry new image dot save 
while we are talking with the MongoDB, we don't know whether it may return success response or failure response. Further, we have to say dot then if it is success, then we can say just send a success response res dot send successfully uploaded. Sorry, guys. Okay, if it is failure response, we have to catch it in the catch block. If it has any error, just console log it, nothing more fancy. Okay. Okay, guys, with that done, let's check our terminal whether it has any error or not. Let's cut this and rerun it once again. Here you can see guys, we don't have any error. Let's get back to the postman and set it as post and say upload. We have to get in the body. Here we should not get in the URL encoder. We have to get in the form data because in the URL encoder, you cannot see kind of option like text or file. In the form data, you can see the option like text first of all we are up saying name test image okay here we should not specify kind of like this image we should not do like this we have to use this name test image do you remember this this name test image let's get back to the postman and say test image and we have to change the format text into file after that we will get the option of select files let's say select files click on it okay let's say airport jpeg open it and just send here we can see we are getting the success response successfully uploaded for checking, we have to get back into the server and we, uh, we get the option of uploader folder. Here you can see guys, our file is here. It does take some time to load. Here you can see guys, so we are successfully getting our image. Let's get back to the MongoDB and check. Let's get into upload image. This is what we specified here, I think so. Here you can see upload image. And in the image models, we must get name as test text image and test image as atmosphere JPEG, uh, which is in the format of binary data. Let's check it. Image models, you are guess, getting the name as text image. And in the image, you are getting the object. In the object, you have the data in the format of binary format. This is what we specified as buffer. Okay, guys, let's upload another one file. Let's say second image. Let's delete this and select another one file. Let's select background.jpg. Let's say open. Let's say send. We have to get the same successfully uploaded. Okay, guys, we got that. Let's get back to the DB and refresh it. Let us take some time. Let's get back to the VS Code. In the upload folder, you are getting our ports which is uploaded previously and just now we uploaded the background JPEG. Let's get back to the browser, sorry, browser and check in the MongoDB. Here you can see guys name as second image and image in the object format and data in the binary format. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Do like, share and like this video. If it is possible, I will create another one video for uploading image using ReactJS. Thank you once.